Today we're looking at an Overland Series axle back and this specific one is a 19620 which is designed for a 2018 to 2023 Jeep Wrangler. This does fit all the JL applications and specifically will incorporate those that have the e-torque system. The design of this system came about from the need to have an axle back that covers all of the vehicles. So the great part about this, it's a one size fits all for all your Jeep Wrangler and Jeep Wrangler Unlimited applications. As with all Magnaflow products, we are working with a stainless steel construction, mandrel bent tubing, and of course, this specific system is an Overland series, so we've got particular features we're looking at. One is the high angle of departure turn down exit. That allows us to be as high as the lowest portion of the bumper, which means the exhaust system is no longer the part you're setting down on the rocks when you're going out climbing, and something you don't have to worry about for clearance anytime you're on the trail. The second part of that means we have the three-stage tuning system of NDT. NDT incorporates three different components we put in here, our cap, the U-bend, and of course our Helmholtz chamber. Now, this muffler is a straight-through muffler, which means there's nothing inside to impede performance, but there is a port that allows us to cap it off and create a quarter-wave resonator that's about 14 inches long. Now, we can incorporate the extension and put that cap on here, and we'll have one that's about 24 inches long. The difference being is the longer the tube gets, the lower the frequency is that you tune out. Effectively, the way that our NDT technology works, you're going to be able to tune out the frequency you don't want by creating it inside the tubes that we provide. The last part of our NDT technology is the utilization of a Helmholtz chamber. The Helmholtz chamber provides yet another way to tune out a different frequency. When we combine the longer extension plus the Helmholtz chamber, we're providing the most amount of sound dampening, or in this case, sound cancellation of the frequencies we don't want. This gives you a quiet and comfortable experience while cruising, but when you hit full throttle, you are still gonna get that straight through performance sound. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is create a system to provide you with all the performance, but none of the negatives of a performance exhaust that's too loud for your travels on the trail. If you're familiar with our Overland Series exhaust parts, this is an axle back. This is the kit number 19620. And today, I'm gonna to put it on this JLU behind us, and you're gonna see the exact process. So when we get underneath the vehicle, the first thing we gotta do is remove the stock exhaust system. The great part about this install and removal, this is all you need. When we get underneath, we're gonna to have to take the stock muffler out. And as you can see, it's a much larger muffler than we put or putting back in. We have a single hanger on this side, a single hanger on this side, and then one Torca clamp in the back to remove it. So I'm gonna get started on any of these loose and you'll see how the stock muffler comes out. So here's the stock muffler and like I mentioned, it's substantially larger and quite a bit heavier. We need to transpose some hangers that we took off the stock piece onto our part. And once we get these on there, we'll notice some other differences. You can see that the muffler is actually smaller in diameter and smaller in width. We've actually taken the inside of the position of the outlet and moved it inboard to the vehicle so it's not immediately behind the tire. Also, and probably one of the biggest changes you'll find is in the tubing. You're gonna see we have that mandrel bent two and a half with high radius bends so that we can do what the factory couldn't and they had to actually take the tube and squish it way down and even though the tube looks like it's a bigger diameter, airflow doesn't work the same when you're talking about a squish tube versus one that maintains its diameter. So we're gonna make all of those improvements and then once we get this on the vehicle, we're gonna show you how to change those with the different options that we have.
So as you can see, the installation is pretty straightforward. Our engineering team works very hard to make sure we use the factory hangers. As you can see, it clears all the suspension and everything, even with this lift, is easy to do or easy to adjust around. Now we're ready to talk about the different modes. We have three with our Overland series, and particularly everything connects to this pipe here on the side of the muffler. If we run the shortest one again, this is gonna give us our loudest tailpipe and interior experience. We have the option of putting in the U-pipe, which gives us a longer quarter wave resonator. Or what I typically tell people to do is put the quietest one in and work your way back. So we'll have the Helmholtz chamber locked in place and tightened up like this. So there you have it. You can appreciate the quietest setup and just make sure as you're putting in the other selections that you keep in mind, this has a lot of adjustability, get around suspension components, but take a minute to appreciate the clearance. As you can see with the hitch here, everything is tied up tight and inside. You don't have to worry about that while you're out on the trail. So if you're interested in picking up the 19620, check us out at www.magnaflow.com.